Take a look at Beaver Achiever sequencing and simple loops challenge number 30. First, if you're here in class, you should have just watched the video for activities 30 through 34, which goes over how to do this. If you haven't seen this before and you haven't watched that video, you need to go watch that in the required videos. If you have watched it or you're not in class, here is how you solve this. You're working with nested loops. That means a loop inside the loop. Anytime they're giving you hints like this in a new section, you should watch. So first, they're telling us we want to put that there and then put this inside. This is what creates a nested loop. Three times you're gonna have the beaver do something and that's gonna have a loop that has a repeat four. Now, this is not a good way to start working on something like this, so I'm actually gonna take it off. You shouldn't start with all your loops in place. You should start with figuring out what you want the beaver to do one time. So the question we always start with is, what do I want the beaver to do first? Move over one. Then I want the beaver to drop four. Then you test it to make sure it does exactly what you want. And when you test, an important thing is to leave the beaver there for a moment because you check, okay, it worked, but then ask yourself about your next steps. It's super helpful when the beaver is in the right spot. So I filled one column and I ask, if I said do it again, would it fill the next column? Yes, it would. So I know that works and I know it's ready to go in my loop. So I can see there are three columns. So I want the beaver to do these steps three times. On number 29, you put these blocks three separate times on your screen. But now that you're at number 30 and learning about nested loops, they're showing you that if I put repeat three, that does that. It says to the beaver three times, move and then drop four. And it looks like that. And testing when it's just one helps you make sure you have it correct. So if something didn't work, I would know the problem was in that last loop that I just added. It would be super easy to find. 